Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about how you can create your own text to audio file converter app in MIT app inventor, which means if you type any text, so it will convert as an audio file and it will save it on your mobile phone. So before ending the video, make sure you click on the red subscribe button and the bell icon and set it to all. So let's back to the MIT app inventor and click the start new project and our project name is going to be the audio app. So then you need to click the OK. Then it will create the project for you. And this is your designing screen. And I'm going to say that this mobile is going to be the tablet size. So then I'm not, I don't want to see this screen. For that I need to disable this checkbox. Then what I need to do is I'm going to set this background color as somewhat like red or you can skip whatever color you want. So at the moment, at the moment I will keep a red color itself. So then I want to add one label here. So I'm going to set this screen once uh, align horizontal is going to be the center and the align vertical is going to be the center. And this text uh, value is going to be as our app name, audio app. So then what I need to do means I'm going to set this uh, font size is going to be the 25 pixels. So not 125, it's 25. So then I want to set the enter button. So then I want to set this font is going to be the bold, also italic too. So then what I need to do means I want to set this text color is going to be the white. So after setting it, I'm going to add one text box to input for the text input. So this text box width is going to be almost 200 pixels. So then I want to set the height even I can keep this width as 500 pixels or I can keep as 300 pixels yes so then this height is going to be almost two, uh, three, uh, 300 pixels so as the same dimension so then what I'm going to do means I'm going to create uh, three buttons three different buttons to play stop and save it so now I'm going to add an horizontal element here. So I'm going to drag and drop the horizontal arrangement here. So in this horizontal arrangement, width is going to be the fill parent and set it to OK. So then uh, this background color is going to be the known. So then I'm going to add three buttons here. Button one, button again, and another one button, and another one button again. So then this horizontal arrangement, uh, a vertical is going to be the center. And horizontal is going to be the center too. So this first button's text is going to be the play. So I'm going to say this text is going to be the play. So then uh, it's the text color is going to be the white. Uh, so it's white. Then this background color is going to be the green color. So even I can keep as dark green. Okay. Let I can click the done button. So then second button, which is stop. So it should stop playing the sound. So now I'm going to set this text color is going to be the white and this background color is going to be the red. So almost I can keep this background color is white because this background color is uh, red, right? So then this uh, text color is going to be the dark gray. So here uh, in this button three, this text is going to be the save button or we can keep as convert audio convert audio so then i'm going to keep this text color is going to be the white color so then this background color is going to be almost black so then what i need to do next means i'm going to add one label here so at the right top after this title so here it will display the file location of the user now at the moment i'm going to set it to uh convert your audio your text to audio so now i'm going to set okay so then convert your text to audio so this is the text and text color so then what i need to do is i'm going to download one extension so i'll give you the uh, extensions link on the description so that i can download this extension so then what I'm going to do next means I'm going to the MIT app enter and fix this extension and here I'm going to import the extension and drag and drop this to the choose file so it will import 
so once it is imported click the import button so it will import the uh, file for you so wait for some seconds and it is imported now so once it is uh, imported just drag and drop into the into your mobile emulator so then what i need to do next means i'm going to the block section so whenever this uh, screen one was utilized so that time what i'm going to do means i'm going to get one block from this so which is going to be get permission so like i can search for here get permission So once you enter the block section here, we are going to add the screen intellect block and here you are going to search for the auth permission which called screen one and auth permission and go to the screen one. So here you can get the block permission. So in this permission, I want to set it to the read extension external storage. So then I want to duplicate it again and permission is going to be the right external storage so then once it was uh, done this and in the text to file mp uh, mp4 mp3 uh iax file i'm going to change the language is going to be the english so this language is going to be the em which means english so then you can click whatever language you want so once the user was click this a uh, button one that time we are going to play the uh, whatever it is in the text box to the voice so for that i'm going to uh, play it so play so what is going to what we need to play means from the text box once text is going to be played by the extension and when the uh, button two was clicked which is stop button that time we are going to stop playing it so by we are going to uh, click take this stop play so once if the user was click the button three that time we are going to save it so for saving it we are going to convert as well the same mp3 file so this text is going to be the text box once text and folder is going to be whatever name that you're giving so i'm going to give it as uh, like audio file sorry it's audio file audio file app. So now what i need to do next means i'm going to set this file name so file name is nothing but i can give as first first audio so now what i'm going to do next means once it was a uh, got on file was saved that time we are going to display this file pop in the uh, first label that we have created which is second to the right so this text is going to be the file pop. so this is how our overall app so now we can test our app 